What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a way to model our building so we can easily look at different options without having to move a whole lot of geometry around. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so there's a few different reasons that we do this. Um, so basically what I've got right now is I've got basically a building that's just made up of a whole bunch of different faces. There's no groups or components or anything like that right now. I've basically extruded a building up. I've put a roof on it. Um, I've applied some textures and right now I'm going to focus on this stretch of wall right here. And so usually what you might think about doing is you might think about going in here and just uh, starting to model what your skin's going to look like. But one of the things that you should think about doing is kind of planning ahead and uh, figuring out what you're going to do with this. Like, for example, if you were looking at this building, um, you might want to look at a couple different options down here on the bottom for the way this might look. So, like, for example, I might want to look at this with a couple windows and then some kind of metal panel around it. Or I might want to look at it as all storefront, like glazing system, that kind of thing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my model up so that I can swap out options really quickly. And so what we're going to do is instead of coming in here and modeling on this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these three objects by doing a shift click. And you can see how these are all selected. And then I'm going to do a right click and I'm going to do a make component. And what we're going to call this is we're going to call this um, base skin system. And make sure this little checkbox is checked for replace selection with component and go ahead and click create. And what that's going to do is that's going to take this and it's going to put all of these objects in a component. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple copies of it. So you're just going to select this object and you can see if I move it out, um, it's just basically the faces from this bottom piece is all that it is. And so we're going to use the move tool. So activate the move tool by tapping the M key and then click on the corner here and tap the control key to create a copy. And so what we've done is now we have a copy of this skin system over here to the left of our building. And if you remember the way that components work is now if I come in here and I start modeling on this, you can see how the changes that I make are going to show up on these faces over here because they're copies of the same component. So that way we can come in here and we can actually edit this piece without having to be actually on our building. So it gets us kind of away from our building as well. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second copy. Um, and the reason I'm creating a second copy is I'm assuming this skin is kind of set, meaning my building footprint isn't going to change. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make this second copy its own component. So I'm going to make it unique. So like right now, if you go in the outliner, because you remember you can manage all your groups and components in the outliner, you can see these are all copies of this base skin system object. Well, what I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click make unique. And you can see how when I make it unique, this creates a new component called Base Skin System 1. Now if I come in here and I make changes, it's not going to be reflected in these objects over here. So, and the reason I did this is I got my Base Skin System set at the size and everything else, and then I moved a copy of it over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it out um, on my building after I've modeled my two different options. So I'll show you more about that in a second. So first thing we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and hide this one. And let's say that I wanted to come in here real quick and just make this kind of a general, you know, storefront type building system. So, you know, it's gonna have like the aluminum mullions in it, that, that sort of thing. And then uh, I'll just real quick make some mullions in here. I'll do a divided by six. So I use the move tool and then the divided by to create my equally spaced objects over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this face. We'll just do two inches right here. In this case, I'm just going to move one copy right to the middle. Then we'll do the same thing over here. So two inches. So those are equally spaced ish. And so then I'll just come in here and I'll just push pull these back about two inches on each one of these. And if you remember, the tools in SketchUp have a memory. And so if you double click on a face, 
it'll repeat the same thing over and over again. So you can see all I had to do was double click on each one of those objects to kind of extrude them back. And then now I can come in here and I can apply, let's say, let's say I wanted to come in here and just apply kind of a gray glass to this building for right now. You can see how as I make the changes, whoops, on this object over here, they're also changing in my building. So you can see how now I've got this building over here that's got storefront all the way along the base. And I, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of the way that looks, but it'll work for this example. So you've got storefront all the way along the base right here. And so now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna unhide this other skin system. So this can be kind of our base skin system over here. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this other skin system right here and we're gonna model that how we want that to look. So in this case, I'm gonna model this a little bit different. We'll model this one as more of a series of windows that are more like cut into this face. So what I'll do is I'll model this one. We'll make it pretty wide. We'll go ahead and make it 12 feet. And I'm just kind of doing the same thing in here where I'm just modeling my mullion system. So let's say we did that and then let's say we push pull these back two inches. And I'm not 100% sure how well this is going to work, but we'll give it a try. Not bad. I'll take it. So, and then we can come in here and we can do the same thing. We can apply, whoops. We can apply our materials that we want to these faces real quick. So, like, let's say, for example, that I wanted this to be this same metal panel system that's over here. I'll just apply that to this face just like this. So you can see how I have a second skin system that's built the same way. All right, so the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna delete my guides. But now there's this really cool trick you can do in SketchUp where you can go over to the components section in your tray. And if you don't see that, you can just go over to window, default tray, and make sure components is checked. But you can see how both my components over here show up. So my base skin system and my base skin system number one. Well, what I can do, since this is a component, when I click on it and I select it, I can come over here to the component section and right click on this other skin system and click replace selected. And you can see how what that did is that replaced my base component, which was originally this glass piece with my second component. And since they were modeled as the same size, it just fits seamlessly into my building. And so I could do the same thing again if I wanted to go back to this first one. So you can see how I can real easily replace different skin systems and look at my different options. And I've seen a lot of people do like multiple buildings and that sort of thing. So they'd model the building once and then they'd model it again. And sometimes that makes sense. But in the case of something simple like this, it's really, really easy to come in here and swap out your different options and take a look at different things and you can show clients different options and that sort of thing really easily and really quickly. So that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Uh, is this something that you find useful? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support. That's got everything from links to my Patreon page to links to some uh, extensions you can purchase that'll help support the show. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.